Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a bit of a charity shop and car boot sale haul for you today. I've been back down the boot sale. Hello mittens. Is he seeing you here? <laughs> I've been back down the boot sale and I've also been to the charity shops. I've been looking at some of the Christmas decorations that they now have in the charity shops because it's that time of year and some of them have actually gone to town with it and they've got some really wonderful Christmas decoration sections and loads of different choices. I find that you can pick up really nice like vintage Christmas decorations in the charity shops, which I think some of you might really love and just really unique pieces. So I thought we'd go to the charity shops and have a good look at those together. It's always exciting to see what unique charity shop Christmas decorations you might find. And I have been down the boot sale. I thought I'd give myself a bit of a budget this time and I've tried to stick to a £10 budget, which is, you know, quite a lot of money down at the boot sale. However, I always, you know, think maybe I'll see something amazing that's going to be more than a tenner. So I did have some backup funds with me, but I did go with that in mind just to kind of, A, give myself a bit of a challenge, didn't want to spend too much money, and yeah, I thought it'd be fun for the video as well. So that's the challenge in today's video at the boot sale. First of all, I have a really lovely delivery to show you. It's from this company. I'm not actually sure how we pronounce that. You might remember that I was one of the judges for the Christmas Press Show Awards. And one of the products that I absolutely loved and had to award was this photo calendar. And they've sent me over my very own with pumpkin and mittens on here. So this is an advent calendar. You can choose your design that goes on the front. And then you can also select all of the images that are behind each of the windows. So let's just open one of them up. Oh, it's me. <laughs> so they have selected all the images in here. There I am in the YouTube corner downstairs. Um, the great thing about this is you can prop it up so the um, back folds up and you can also um, hang it here. There's like a little um, hooky, hooky thing that you put, pop your nail through. Hello pumpkin, you're on this. I love this photo, it's from um, last Christmas of them wearing their festive bow ties. But then, once you've opened this all up, you may think, okay, that's that. No, it's not. So what you can then do is take out the inside which then becomes a beautiful collage poster like this so you've got all your images in here these have all come from instagram as well so you can select images from your social media and then what you can do you're going to love this pumpkin we can hang this on the wall for all year round you can then clip on the wood like this it becomes a hanging kind of poster so then you're left with this beautiful um, collage for all year round. I think that is a fantastic idea and I think um, lots of you might like this too. What do you think pumpkin? It's good isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is that time of the month where I get to share with you the films that I've been loving this month as part of the Sky Cinema Club. I'm going to start off with one that I actually watched last night and really enjoyed and that is Magic Mike's Last dance. Have you seen the Magic Mike films? What do you think of them? I think they are so brilliant and I really enjoyed this one. Of course starring Channing Tatum. What I absolutely loved about this film was the fact that it came to London. So there's lots of London locations in it. I love any movie that is set in London. And the other thing I loved in it was of course the We'll call it the dancing. <laughs> if you've seen it, my goodness, he knows how to move, doesn't he? Wow. But yeah, I just loved seeing all the London locations. We see them driving over Tower Bridge, which is really iconic. We see some really whimsical, cosy London old-fashioned interiors, which I think lots of you would really enjoy seeing. Um, they shop in Liberties, so another fab location. And also film in St Pancras Station as well. And I'll be heading up there later on today, actually. Um, I'm off to Leeds to do packed lunch. And speaking of packed at lunch I also spotted Marcus Brigstock who many of you will be familiar with he also does packed lunch so I've worked with him many times he is such a lovely chap and it was such a lovely surprise to see him popping up in the film they also did a scene on the number 12 bus which I've taken many times it was kind of like a really cool dance routine on the top deck of that bus as it headed through Lambeth a place where I used to live so I really enjoyed watching that and also in that scene we see Vicky Pepperdine who I 
really love. You may be familiar with her. She's kind of like a comedy actress and she's in things like Nighty Night, which I love. So it was great to see her in the movie too. I love the fact they've got some British comedians in the film. Also on Sky Cinema this month, we have Big George Foreman, which is based on the remarkable true story of one of the greatest comebacks of all time. And we have the Sky original, She Came to Me, starring Anne Hathaway. And it is that time of year I have started to watch the Christmas movies and I am so excited that Sky are spoiling us with the Christmas collection pop-up. There's some absolute classics on here. And I was actually thinking to myself the other day, I really fancy watching Christmas with the Cranks. That is my all-time favourite Christmas film, I think. I was really hoping that, that would be available to watch, so I am so happy that that one is on Sky. I haven't watched it just yet, I'm saving it. It's my all-time favourite Christmas film, but we've also got classics like The Holiday, Polar Express, I love that film so much, Bad Santa, Elf, This Is Christmas, which is a Sky original. I watched that one last year and really enjoyed it. Arthur Christmas, Gremlins, interesting. I hadn't really thought of that as a Christmas movie, but yeah, I can see why that is on the list. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to watch all of these. Krampus, Love Actually. Oh my goodness, this is getting me so excited. I feel the need to immediately run to the supermarket to get a tub of roses, a tub of celebrations, tub of heroes and I'll be good to go. Let me know if you've watched the Magic Mike films, if you've enjoyed them. And also from that pop-up list, which of those is your favourite? I feel like, yeah, Christmas of the Cranks for me. If you are a fan of that film, do let me know if you've managed to get your hickory honey ham for this year. I feel like it's one of those things that we must get early to avoid that situation. But yeah, I'll leave all of those trailers for you in the description box along with more information about Sky Cinema. Right, let's head down to the boot sale. It was a glorious sunny day when I went there on Sunday and I had a really nice little mooch about. So you can have a little browse with me now and I'll meet you back here and show you everything that I bought. With my £10 in my pocket, and it was £1 to get in, so I was left with 9 and had a fiver and £4 coins. I just want to set the scene for you. So that's what we were working with. The first thing that I picked up, I actually didn't spend all of my money, believe it or not. It's hit and miss, isn't it, at the boot sale. And this time round, 
I, I saw some nice bits, but there were bits where I thought, oh, you know, I don't know if I need that. With the Christmas bits, I am yet to have a proper kind of go through of all of my decorations. So I'm trying to really resist picking up anything unless it is super special. So anyway, the first thing that I spotted was this coat. And I thought this looked really cool. I loved the check on it with the kind of cord. This smells so good. I've given it a really good wash and it smells stunning, just like to add. So we have the corduroy and we also have this kind of faux leather collar. So some really nice detail on this with the uh, front pocket and also a couple of side pockets and cuffed sleeves. And it's kind of like that boxy, uh, like slightly oversized, slightly boxy kind of 80s fit, which I quite like wearing, a bit like this one that I'm wearing now actually. And the chap wanted four pounds for that, which I thought was really good. And yeah, I didn't haggle or anything. I love the fact that the collar's got the um, tartan underneath. Yeah, so that was a great price. And I wasn't sure um, what the brand was. It's kind of all faded, but I've had a little look on the label inside and it is Buffalo Canada. So I know I've got quite a few of you watching from Canada. So hello if that's you. Um, let me know how the weather is. I'm curious to know. And have you heard of this brand before. So Buffalo Canada and it's size XL. And it looks quite old, doesn't it? Quite old and vintagey, but I thought perfect for autumn time. And I love the colors in this, that little bit of turquoise and the nice chunky checks. Chunky check, I thought, <laughs> looked fab. So, oh, that smells good. Can't beat freshly washed clothes, can you, when they smell that nice? That was four pounds at five pound coins left to play with. And this is what I spotted. A box full of pine cones. <laughs> I feel like this is quite a random purchase, but what got me was the size of these. I thought they were such nice big sizes. Some of them have been sprayed or painted, but we've got quite a few in here, as you can see. And I just think these look so nice at Christmas time. You know, you can pop them in a jar, you can pop them onto a cake stand with like a candle in the middle and just have them kind of around it. You can just have them kind of just decorating your home at random. We also have one on a piece of wire. It's all a little bit higgledy piggledy. We have a little gold one on a um, thread there. A few of these actually. Whoops. There's another one kind of that size. So I might do some DIYs with these. Yes, yeah, so I've got a few of the hanging ones as well. So they look quite nice, obviously just hanging on the tree. So quite a few in there and yeah, great for decorating with. And they wanted two pounds for these, which I thought was quite good. In the florists, I mean, do you remember when we went to um, outside of Liberty in my recent video and there was that bouquet for 100 pounds? <laughs> I mean, I wonder how much Liberties would charge for a single pine cone. I wouldn't hazard a guess. Fix these onto sticks, can't you? So you can just drill a little hole in there and then glue the stick in and have these kind of arranged as part of the winter foliage as well, which I think would look really nice. So yeah, any ideas for DIYs with those? I am all ears. And that was it. So I just spent my six pounds, which meant I meant home. Went, I went, went, I can't speak. <laughs> I came back here with some change in my pocket, which goes back into my little tin of boot sale coins. And it'll be ready for the next one. There is, I think, one more or maybe two more before the end of the year. So I will try to make those. I'm still really enjoying going to the boot sale. You never know what you might find. And also the weather has been very sunny, very mild. It's just nice to go down. I do really enjoy that on a Sunday morning. So those are my bits from the boot sale. I have a fragrance to share with you before we head to the charity shops. This has been sent to me from Ralph Lauren. Can you believe it? We must go to Ralph Lauren soon. Actually, we must go to the one on Bond Street because it is that time of year when they decorate the interior section in Ralph Lauren home so beautifully. So I would like to go in there soon and I'll bring you with me so we can have a little look, see how they've styled up the different rooms and get some inspo. I just love how they do it and I always get ideas. In fact, it's why I have things like, you know, the knitted pillows, the faux fur pillows. I actually am sitting on a Ralph Lauren blanket here as well which I think is rather festive in this colour. So I've dug that one out and I bought that from Woodbury Commons. Any of you that have been to New York, have you been on the bus to Woodbury Commons? The, um, it's a bit like Vista Village. It's like one of those discount 
um, shopping places. And yeah, I bought that way back. This is probably over 10 years old and it's washed really well. And yeah, I love it. So a bit of Ralph Lauren home in here, but going back to the fragrance, this is Ralph's Club. I have given this a sniff. How stunning is that, the way it opens up? And it says, all it takes is one drop. And it says, introducing Ralph's Club Elixir, an intensely alluring and expressive fragrance for anyone who wants to stand out from the crowd and make a statement that lasts long after the night is over. And features six sustainably sourced ingredients, including lavender, iris, incense, and patchouli, combining sensual woody notes through an intoxicating ambery quality. This is really nice. You may have seen me feature a couple of fragrances recently in my gift guide for him. It was the Molten Brown Recharged Black Pepper and also the Mont Blanc Explorer. This is almost like a cross between the two of those. It's got that freshness of the Explorer and also that kind of ambery, slightly peppery scent of the Molten Brown. This is very wearable actually and I like the um, bottle that it comes in. And a big thank you to Ralph Lauren. What a lovely surprise. Ralph's Club Elixir, if you're interested. And if you want to um, have a little shop around for that, there might be some good deals on that at this time of year. But yeah, we'll definitely go for a little look at Ralph Lauren and Ralph Lauren Home on Bond Street soon. Now I smell stunning. My jacket smells stunning. I smell even nicer. <laughs> right, should we head to the charity shops next? Let's have a little browse. I have focused on the Christmassy bits. <laughs> Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favourite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 oh oh La 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories So yeah, they had some really nice bits in St. Christopher's and I did pick up a couple of items. Actually nothing Christmassy. In the end, although they had some really nice kind of Christmas ornaments, Christmas decorations, they also had some brand new pyjamas, Christmas pyjamas, and also some like gifty ideas that I thought were really lovely. I've held off. I am gonna wait until I go through all of my Christmas decorations just to see what I've got first. Because you forget, don't you? And you buy things maybe even just last year that I've kind of forgotten about. I think I always remember the things that I bought years ago. But if it's like a recent purchase, it might have slipped my mind. So yeah, I definitely want to go through it all. But I did pick up a couple of really nice bits. The first thing being this be oh, I can't get it out. It's stuck in the basket I'm going to show you as well. Crikey. There we go. This beautiful tin. So this is an Emma Bridgewater tin. 
and I just thought that was lovely. And as you can see, it has this blue and white design and these chickens on it. And I guess you put biscuits or something like that in here. And this was £4.50. I think it's one of the quite old ones. And it says blue skies on the base here. And yeah, I just thought that was really, really nice. It's really well sealed so i can't actually get the lid off very easily at all so anything that you put in here will stay nice and airtight and i also picked up this basket i just thought this was really lovely quality when you get a thick wicker like this with this kind of dark color i quite like the painted section as well i thought really nice and also the fact that it's tall like this you can put cleaning products in there and they'll all stand up quite nicely they don't fall over when you move it out from the shelf or from under the sink and that was five pounds, so not the best bargain to be honest with you, but still a lot cheaper than you would probably pay for that in a shop brand new, so I was very happy to buy that. And that is everything that I've got to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this little trip to the car boot sale and to the charity shops with me. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite and also I'd love to know what your favorite Christmas film is, which one is top of your list to be watching as we head towards the festive season. But thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this. If you haven't already, do subscribe for brand new videos every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.